Whoa, whoa, it's me, your host, Mr. WG, and you're watching the spicy news. Dear subscribers, in today's video, I'm going to tell you about why Ukrainian troops are expected to make a bid for Kherson, one of four partially occupied provinces, Russia, and next from Ukraine. Dear subscribers, bisected by the mighty Dnieper River, Kherson became the first Ukrainian region to be fully occupied by Russia, and Moscow deployed tens of thousands of the troops there. Russia's control of a chunk of the Dnieper's West Bank is especially important because it offers a chance to advance farther north and west. But in recent weeks, Ukrainian forces retook dozens of villages and towns in the West Bank and the struck bridges, ferries and pontoons across the Dnieper and depart with surgical precision. Dear subscribers, in recent weeks, for the past 10 days, Moscow and its puppet administration in Kherson have been urging tens of thousands of civilians living on the West Bank to leave for Crimea and mainland Russia. They claim that some 70,000 civilians evacuated voluntarily and that they will be issued certificates for free housing anywhere in Russia. Dear subscribers, meanwhile, pro Kremlin media reported that withdrawing Russian troops have taken away with them heavy bronze statues of two 18th century Russian commanders. Moscow's official reason for the retreat is a claim that Ukraine is planning to bomb at Nova Dam to flood the region. Kyiv rejects the allegation. According to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, the evacuation of civilians and monuments is nothing but a Kremlin masterminded trap to create the illusion of panic. A Ukrainian serviceman who spent months on the southern front line says the Russian media buzz is too pre-calculated and loud to be true. Dear subscribers, it is for today. I will meet you in the next video. Till then, kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Take care.